What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina and thank you for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you are already part of the fam, hello, how are you? Thank you for your continued support. So today I wanted to come to you guys to do a makeup tutorial. I know it's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial and so I wanted to come on here today and showcase some products that I just bought and I wanted to, you know, have my first impressions here on camera. And then also I wanted to do a fall look, you know, I want to get into the spirit of fall and I definitely love fall makeup because I love the smokiness, the sultriness, you know, you know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I've already done my primer and my foundation. One thing about the fall is, you know, the weather is starting to change and your skin may change as well. So in the fall, I do like to have a more hydrating routine so i did use some rose water and i did use a foundation that's a little bit more luminous and the foundation that i used was my nars natural radiant Longwear foundation and i've been wearing it for a while now i mean i wear this year round girl but <laughs> you know and where i live right now to me it's more so winter like that's why i have on this sweatshirt like i am so freaking cold right now so Let's go ahead and, you know, finish this up here, okay? First, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my concealer today. I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the color Warm Honey. This is my favorite. I mean, oh my goodness, it's inexpensive, and it's pretty hydrating. I'm going to start off with some of that under the eye, and it's not really that much lighter, than my skin tone but i like it because it's is very subtle i may go in with a lighter highlight it just depends on how i'm feeling okay and what i've been using recently is a brush to do my concealer and i've really been liking it and once again i'm still trying to stay with that hydrating theme so i have like a damp rag here where I can, you know, kind of like wet my brush a little. I don't know what it is about a brush, but it just makes me feel like so legit. You know what I'm saying? It just makes me feel like I'm getting my makeup done professionally. Look at that, honey. So seamless. And I can already tell that I'm going to have to add a lighter color. Just to kind of brighten up that area. And as you see, it gives like the most subtle highlight. And I just really love that. So before I put on my next concealer, I'm going to show you guys the powder that I'm going to be using to set my under eye. Because I don't I want to like apply it and then open up the packaging. And then my under eye starts to crease and then the world is over and it's like too much. Like I just can't, okay? I just can't. The two new products that I bought were FX Perfect Setting Powder. And I am super excited because I've been looking for a setting powder. Okay, a loose setting powder for my face and I believe I've seen a couple of reviews on this and you know pretty good reviews but I definitely wanted to try for myself. I got both of the colors and I got the translucent deep and then I also got the translucent light. For under my eyes I'm going to be using the translucent light powder. So this is the packaging here and this is 0.35 ounces. So here is the light translucent. Oh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Right. So I'm going to go ahead. Ooh. So when I take off the top, there's this little tab right here. And it opens up into the powder and so that is where I would get my powder from wow I really love that okay. 
S Concealer. I've used this before on my channel. This is the Naked Skin Concealer. And this is in the color Medium Dark Warm. And so I'm just going to lighten up the inner parts of my eyes just a little bit. And even this, like, oh my goodness. That just lets you know how much sun I'm getting. None. Okay. And I'm actually going to use a sponge for this because I really want to press this in and we're going to set and yes we're going to bake honey we're going to bake honey I'm going to press it in a little bit but ultimately I'm going to go ahead and press some into my forehead and I'm going to press them around my mouth as well. I like to set around my mouth simply because I don't want any creasing right here and also because this is where a lot of my blemishes are. Okay, now I'm going to contour and I've been using this a lot lately and this is my NYX HD concealer and this is in the color Cappuccino. We're going to start Put some around this line of demarcation right here. For the cheeks, I'm going to contour powder. I'm just going to blend that in. I just like using the concealer on my forehead because it just blends so well and then I'll use powder on my for my face honey so now I'm going to do my brows and I am even more excited to come on here and do my brows today because I actually groom them yes I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see but if you are interested in seeing how I groomed my eyebrows then please click the eye card up here so you can see how your girl did it okay for my brows today i'm going to be using an ulta brow pencil right here and this is in the color dark brown so i'm just going to first brush my brows you know get them together get them ready for this brow bead we can't be perfect honey but our brows can definitely be perfect all right to start off fade that color into the brown you ignited this passion evolving from happiness everlasting late night pillow fights and ass grabbing you be breaking me off like a bad habit and the way we coincide Makes me wanna ride on the bonded side till you clap. But recently, I feel like we're holding back. Like we in different places tracking back. I can't be having that, not to mention all of the tip attack. Alright, so that's a one brow done. I can't tell me nothing, honey. When I get these brows together, I can't tell me nothing. This is an Elizabeth Arden palette. And it has some really beautiful shades in here. I mean, you have a... Um, you have a blush, you have a nice deep rich reddish brown, you have this cream color here, you have this brick brown color, and then um, right here you have more of a milk chocolate type color, and then I really love to use this color right here on my brow bone, and here it's like more so of a taupe color so i really love this palette it's like a one-stop shop type of deal so first i'm going to start off by using that taupe color right here and i'm going to just run that in my crease and i mean i'm just literally running it in my crease i'm not doing it with any precision i'm just trying to you know carve out my eyes and start building up that depth so I'm just using this as my first transition color nothing too major I'm going to use 
that same brush. And by the way, I really never mention my brushes in my videos and maybe I should start, but this is a Morphe MB23 brush and I really love it. Like it's one of my favorite brushes. I mean, ugh, to die for, okay? Now I'm going to go in with this brick shade and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do a little bit lower than that. So I'm going to focus this just a little bit more on the crease and as I blend it will move upward so it will diffuse upward and I'm not going to take it in this area I'm going to kind of keep it an angle going upward into the brow area and this will just open your eyes a little bit more and so now I'm going to work on my shape. I'm going to go back in with that maroon color that I just used. And we're going to start pulling it outward. And if you guys have watched any of my previous makeup videos, I've really been loving diffusing my eye makeup, not putting on lashes, smoking it out, rocking a pretty lip, and just going that way. I don't know what it is, but lashes right now are just not my thing they're just not my thing not even mascara for real and so yeah so we're just going to create that shape and that shape is pulling outward that's the shape that i want because i want my eyes to be so now underneath the lash line, I'm going to take that brick color again, and we're going to run that under the lash line. Yes, I'm using the same exact brush. You know, no need to switch it up. And just we're just going to do a rough blend. I'm going to go in with that milk chocolate shade and I'm going to go in with the brush that's just a little bit more dense and this is actually a wet and wild brush and this is how it looks it does not have a name it was actually a dollar grease with this brush and as you see I'm holding this brush a little bit lower simply because I want to have more control over where this product is being placed so when I place that down, I'm going to flick it upward as so. But as I mentioned, I'm keeping it concentrated here. Then I'm going to go back in with my Morphe brush and we're just going to blend it out. Girl, you looking cute, honey. You looking cute. On the lid, I want something that's still going to be neutral, but something that ties the look together. I'm going to be going into my Modern Matte Palette, and this is from Beauty Treats. I'm going to go into this color right here. It is, on camera it's showing up as a beige, but it's more so like a peach tone. The lid and the brush that I'm using is actually an e.l.f. brush. So it is a small flat domed type brush and so I'm just going to place this on the eyes I like so I really like that I'm not going to place any more product than you know more than what I originally put on my brush I'm just going to tap whatever is remaining to the inner part of my lid and I'm almost cutting it but not cutting it as you see and then I'm just going to blend that color into the brown don't be worried about it we're going back okay we're going back over it so I'm going to go back into my Elizabeth Arden palette and I'm now going to go into this deep, rich chocolate color. And oh my God, it is just like the most beautiful color. It's beautiful, y'all. It's beautiful. I'm going to use that to build up that outer V a little bit while also blending 
the colors out that I've just placed. And I'm going to be using a MAC 219 SE brush. This is a travel size brush, I believe. Um, but this is how it looks. Just a really small smudger type brush. And so I'm going to start off by just placing this in the outer V. And as you see, I am tapping this on first because I really want to place it correctly. And then I'm just going to blend it inward with that other color. And I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild brush that I used for the milk chocolate color. And we're going to do small circle of motions and we're going to blend that out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of shimmer, you know, in the corners of my eyes. And this is a shimmer strips palette and it's made by Physicians Formula. Um, you know, something inexpensive, something not too much. But I am going to go with the second strip right here. Like a rose gold color. To tap that here. And I think I'm going to use that same color on my brow bone highlight. But not too much. And I like to just place mine like literally right where the arch is. You don't see brow bone glow? You see brow bone glow. Alright. We're going to contour. And then finish setting my face. And you guys, I really like that cover FX um, powder. Wow. Now we're going to open up the other one and I'm pretty excited. This is the deep and we are going to set the rest of my face and I hope this isn't too dark. Um, but this is how it looks straight out of the packaging. Let's apply a little bit onto the brush. And I'm just going It definitely doesn't seem too dark. Now I want to contour and I'm going to be contouring with one of my favorite powders. Um, this is the shade and this is a Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. And y'all, it's bomb.com. I'm going to contour with this and the Real Techniques brush. And this is their 300 brush. And it's supposed to be a blush brush, but honey, you use your brushes for what you want to use your brushes for. Okay, okay. I mean, it's so dense and perfect. Like, oh my god. And I'm just going to start carving, honey. Carving and blending, carving and blending. Yeah. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Like, look. Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stick to what I'm used to. I'm gonna stick with what I'm good with. And I am going to just go ahead and use Milani Baked Bronzer in 04 Glow. And y'all, I love it. Like it just gives such like a natural glow. Look at that. And you can like put this everywhere. And it's never going to look too much. Like, look at that. Girl. Girl. Healthy look. I mean, it's just like a perfect. I love to get my forehead because there's nothing like a healthy looking forehead. You know what I'm saying? There's just nothing like it. Like, it's just. Chair. Chair. I don't know what to say. Look at this. It's just, it just looked like I drank eight gallons of water a day. If I did, I probably would die. But it looks like I drank a lot of water. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. I was on to the lips and I'm so ready to wear this lip. I have not worn this lip in a while. So I'm super duper excited. So I'm going to take off this lip gloss because honey, I am talking it to white, honey. So I'm going to first line my lips and I'm just using a wet and wild lip liner. Nothing, nothing drastic. To 
the lippy. I am using my Kat Von D liquid lipstick and this is in the color Damned. I also had bow and arrow but it's in a purse somewhere so sad but you know I'll find it one day. I'm going to be using my Smashbox primer water. Love it to set prime whatever honey I love it. So as you guys see, I did not put on any mascara. I didn't put on any lashes and this is just how I've been loving wearing my makeup lately. All right, boo, so that completes the look. I really thank you guys for joining me today. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, you know. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, boo boo, okay? And join the MDD family. I am uploading on a Monday and a Friday, okay? I'm here on Mondays for you, honey. I'm here on Fridays for you. And sometimes I'm here for you in between, okay? But um, yeah, so thank you guys for joining me. I'm just so excited that I was able to actually do a video today. And yes, yeah, so smooches booze. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.